Hi all, welcome to ClickShare.com. I wish you all Happy New Year and hope you'll have a fantastic year ahead. In this video, I'll show you how to drop the script variables. Variables play a major role in ClickView compared to other programming languages. ClickView variables is not just temporary storage space while executing the script. In fact, ClickView variables by default persist after this script execution is finished which means all your script variables are available in UI and you can view them in variable overview window. However, sometimes you don't want to take this temporary variables to the user interface. I mean, you might want to use the variables to execute the script and drop them immediately after the script execution is finished because these variables don't hold any value in user interface. They're more like static objects sitting within your user interface. So let's get started and let's look at a simple example of creating a variable. I'll increase the font size so all of you can see very clearly. I'll make it 16. I know they're too big, but yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a, a simple variable here. I'll call let v my time. Now, so now expression actually calculates the, it's, it actually picks up the date and time stamp here. And uh, let me call this let v my date, call this today. Let me save this and reload. Okay, I'll create a text box. I'll call this v my date, which is available, and make a copy. And then I will call this v v my time. So this shows the date and time stamp, and this only shows the date. And you can see the same variables in variable over your window. And you can actually create variables in user interface. However, I recommend as much as possible, try and create your variables within the script. So let me click on OK and let's go back. Now let's say that you wanted to use these two variables in the script. You're processing something within your script. And at the end of the script, you wanted to drop these two variables. So how do you go ahead and do that? Let's say that you're doing, uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'll just comment out, I'll say load da 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 and something from some table. And now you wanted to drop these two variables. How do you go ahead and drop? There is no explicit command or function to drop these two variables in ClickView. However, there are two ways to drop the variables. First one is, uh, I'll call this again, I'll use the let statement and then it's it's not actually dropping. I would probably rather call it allocation and deallocation, something like that. And then now here I'll say, I'll close it with my semicolon and click on OK and click on reload. Okay, you see nothing here and you must be thinking the variable is dropped. However, this variable is already there, but it is actually still present. There is no value in that variable, but the variable is physically present within your user interface. To remove them, you need to actually delete them. However, because you don't have to do that while you're actually running the script, because the script execution finishes and then you will delete your variables. So I'll delete these variables for now. Click on OK and it doesn't show anything here, which is good. I'll save this, go back to script again. Now I'll go ahead and create the variables again. So which I will go ahead and reload now. Okay, so you've seen the date. However, you will not see the time because that variable is deallocated. You will not see that variable within your user interface. So let's go back and see what happened here. So it created the variable here and then I'm calling using the same name I'm dropping the same variable or deallocating the same variable. And 
let me go back and then let me delete this variable as well. Now let's I'll show you a different method on how to drop the second variable. Call this let be my date. And you can't use an empty string because it will assign an empty string or a zero length string. However, you can use the null function. Save it, reload it. Now see, these variables are actually present in the script and they, they are actually processing everything. And at the end of the script execution, you should just deallocate or drop these variables. If you go to variable overview window right now, you will not see these variables. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we don't have commands. However, you can use one of these two techniques to deallocate all your variables that your user interface will be much cleaner and uh, you're not having hundreds of variables when you're working with your user interface. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope this was helpful. And I would also encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day. So you can go to my blog where you will see QQOTD, which stands for Click Shares ClickView question of the day. So feel free to answer the questions and it's kind of a knowledge check. Have a good day ahead.